Hello Libra friends, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody, uh, the newbies as well as the returners, the subscribers. I appreciate you more than you know. Um, so today we are going to do um, the love readings, yay! Um, but first a little bit of housekeeping, so I'm hoping you stick around, but if not, fast forward uh, to the actual tarot reading. So May, let's talk about May. We have Scorpio full moon. By the time you watch this, it'll probably just be over with. But that being said, emotions are going to be on high, right? With this water sign, intense emotions, scorpionic emotion. Um, okay, so that's going to be in the air as we are dealing with anything regarding love and relationships. I think that's important to note. Um, and we did just do the videos all about transformation, right? What's going to be important for you to release and let go during the month of May, during specifically the Scorpio full moon. Check, to, check those out. There's no time stamp to it, right? Um, also, May. May is Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Month. So important shout out to all the fantastic CF warriors out there. Love you guys so much and sending you uh, big hugs and kisses and high fives six feet apart, of course, right? Um, and then also May is also uh, Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, this is super important and it's something I've actually been wanting to talk about on my channel. So I am wearing my Mental Health Awareness Month t-shirt that says your feelings are valid. Um, very important though. Tarot reading is not a substitute for any type of professional help, right? And when I say professional help, I am talking about uh, not only legal advice or medical advice, but also therapy, right? Um, mental help. Um, tarot is a fantastic tool for self-growth self and self-development, but it should never um, be a substitute um, for seeking um, professional help and guidance when, when you're really in, in, a, in a tough place in life. And again, that's something you need to know what, where the line is. Um, but that being said, if you or someone you know is really struggling and does need some sort of psychiatric or professional mental help, um, that's something nobody should ever be feeling ashamed of um, or worried about. You know, um, this day and age, it's actually very common for people to be seeing therapists and things of that nature. So please never be ashamed of that and do seek help where you need it. Um, so moving forward in all the description boxes and all of my videos, I am going to include um, the website and contact information. Um, for the suicide prevention hotline as well as, um, as like mental health awareness um, websites and um, what is the word I'm looking for? Essentially um, like lines that you can call and even text if you are seeking help or feel that, you know, um, there's something, something that tarot isn't going to um, be super helpful to you for, right? Um, anyway, so that's really important. I just wanted to shout that out on my channel. Um, sending so much love to all those battling um, some, some mental health issues. Um, that's, that's challenging, but um, yeah, I'm hoping that everybody gets through it um, in a healthy and safe way. Um, okay, so love readings. <laughs> right, so in May, this is about halfway through the month of May, we are going to look for Libra. What love messages do they need for their best and highest good uh, for, the B, for the middle of May into June? That is roughly the timestamp. Um, but because this is energy, we know that there is no fixed start or stop date, right? So as always, these are general messages, Libra. Not everything I say is going to resonate with you. Uh, so please do only take away messages for your best and highest good. Everything you need to know will be in the description box below, including what decks I'm using, um, the social media channels, etc., etc., as well as those wonderful websites and hotlines that I just spoke about, okay? Um, and please do pass that information on to people in your life that you think might need to hear it or see it. All right, so for Libra, let's do it. For love, can we get any cards for Libra in love? <clears throat> Yay. I'll take one more. All right, Libra, you are coming up as the Two of Pentacles. All right, so Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, it's called the Juggling Card. So frequently has to do with making a decision, but it's a tangible decision. It's not something that's only existing in your mind. It's not necessarily based in emotion. We will clarify it, but it may literally have to do with money. Pentacles can be money. Um, it may have to do with a job or a career move, um, potentially something um, involving your family, involving your children, um, or even a decision regarding your health. Um, that's typically sort of what, what pentacles sort of rule over in this spread. Um, so let's pull a clarifier for you. Let's see what we can learn about Libra. 
can we clarify this two of pentacles? I'm hoping we get two cards so that we can see the two things. We'll see. Can we clarify the two of pentacles for Libra, please? Can we clarify the two of pentacles for Libra, please? So you got the Hierophant. It did technically come out in reverse. We'll keep that in mind. So what are you committing yourself to? Um, now the Hierophant is the card of Taurus. You have double earth energy. So you might be dealing with a Taurus or an earth sign. Um, typically the Hierophant talks about commitment. Um, it can be spirituality. Like what spiritual path are you committing yourself to? Um, the Hierophant... He is frequently shown with keys here, on, here there on his hat. It's symbolic of unlocking the doors, right, to God, to spirituality, but really whatever you believe in. Because it's pentacles, it's, I see it more as um, like unlocking the key to your future. If it, if it has to do with some sort of tangible move or decision, about, especially about job or a home, you might be moving homes or apartments or something, Unlocking the key is really, really hitting hard here for me, but um, spirituality can sometimes be, you know, the card of marriage because of the whole commitment thing. Religion, spirituality, I mean, if, if you're with someone and you practice two different faiths, maybe you're, you're trying to merge the two in a very real, tangible way. Maybe it's, what are we going to pass down to our children? What is this? I mean, it could be legacy we're building, right? With our, with our two coins we're bringing together, we're, you know, merging bank accounts, we are merging you know, in a way, merging bodies, right? If, if you're having children. Um, yeah, if, if it is a relationship, and I mean, we're doing a love reading, right? There is a spiritual path, um, but in that there's a decision about, um, again, the commitment of A or B, of left or right, of your home or my home, of... There's two pentacles, and yet something about this, because it's being clarified with the hierophant, there's... I want to say there's a coming together of the two, um, Libra. And I mean, that that's funny that you got, you know, the two of pentacles because you are Libra. You are weighing things out, the decisions, right? The back and forth, the making sure everything is fair and just and equally balanced on the scale. So your person is coming up as, ooh, the emperor. I love it. Um, so this is an Aries card, um, fire could be an Aries Leo Sag you're dealing with. Now in this deck, he's called the angel of wisdom. So the emperor does talk about career. The emperor builds the empire, right? Um, so if, if this person is, is the one you're either, um, romantically related to or pursuing or, you know, married to potentially, they're a good player to have on your team if you are looking to build a house or build a career. Um, now the emperor sometimes has the connotation of being a little bit harsh and cold, but the reason being though is because the emperor, again, he thinks grand scheme, long-term future plans. And so his decision-making comes from, it's like that fire that burns inside of him. He knows that that's where the answers exist. That's what he thrives on, his creativity, his passion. And so when he makes a decision, it's that slamming your fist down of like, we're doing it this way. Which is interesting for you, Libra, because that is not your way, typically, of, of making a decision. If you're juggling back and forth, there, for you, for someone else to come in and be like, this is the, this is the ultimate answer. Generally speaking, I, I see that being a bit of a conflict for you, so we're going to see what's between you guys. Um, now that being said, if you are stuck in this decision-making mode and it just goes on and on and on, again, this could be a key player for you to be like, listen, Libra, here are the facts. This is what we got to do. In some ways, that could also be a very relieving energy for you. Um, so we'll see what it is. Um, let's see. But yeah, the Emperor can be headstrong, right? He's, he's an Aries card, so he can be a bit stubborn. And so it may be this juggling back and forth, if it, again, it has to do with merging your bank accounts or com combining of the two I'm just getting, um, this, could, this could potentially be challenging if you're you know, trying to be fair and just and make sure everybody feels included. Um, yeah, it's like, what is that expression? You give an inch and they take a mile. <laughs> That's coming to mind here. Anything we can throw on this emperor for Libra? What do we need to know about this emperor? 
Your emperor is thinking about long-term plans, though, the future. The Five of Pentacles. All right, interesting. So, again, more Earth energy. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, I believe this is a Taurus card. So this is sometimes the card of abandonment, of feeling left out in the cold. Um, metaphorically, you know, trudging barefoot in the snow. Um, you know, you're, you're cold, you're lonely, you're sad, you think this will never end. You're, it's kind of like a rough energy. It's, the fives are imbalances, right? They're not the greatest cards. However, frequently, the Five of Pentacles, I like to view it as a test of our faith. Um, it's, it's proving our strength, not only to spirit or whatever you believe in, but to ourselves. Um, sometimes we're presented with obstacles and once we work our way through them, no matter how kind of crappy and uncomfortable it was, at the end of it, you have this tremendous sense of, um, of pride that yes, this is what I've accomplished. So here's what I'm getting for this. I actually think this is landing on your partner, right? I think this is something your partner has already been through. And so I'm not necessarily saying they have one up on you, Libra, but their decision is based in, in things that have happened to them in the past. Maybe they have struggled financially. So again, if you're dealing with something financial, th again, like I was saying this earlier, they're a good person to have on your team. In this case, I do think that their opinion is, um, if their strong opinion is warranted because I do it feels like they are trying to guide you away from poverty from hardship from a difficult time from I don't know I, I'm just getting like you know you don't want the 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 power company to uh, you know take away the electricity and so you're left alone in your apartment in the dark like maybe I, I don't know why financial issues are very very strong here um, but do you know what I mean? They're trying to give you helpful guidance and maybe the way they're doing it, again, they're, because I, the, the way I said that, you know, it was almost like not a threat, but that intimidation of, well, you don't want this to happen, do you? That's not a helpful energy when you are making important decisions is someone um, constantly giving you the what ifs, the what ifs, the fear, the fear-based things. But again, it's how that emperor thinks. It's just how he operates here. Um, it. It's like he's come out of the cold because he's fire. He has experience on how to deal with this, on literally how to warm the situation up, right? How to get out of that, that struggle, that suffering. Um, they might be advising, this could also be like an advisor of some kind, if this isn't romantic, which, you know, we're doing love readings here, but it could also be your boss or some sort of like legal advisor or counselor or something. Um, but it, if so, there's a hefty price tag to their advice. I'm absolutely getting that because this person knows their power. Um, you guys might have kids together. They could also be giving you advice about your kids. This could be like a principal at school and, um, you know, maybe you're trying to decide, am I going to put them in private school or are they going to stay in public school? Uh, again, that committing to a path, committing to a tangible decision here. They might, yeah, this emperor, whoever that is in your life, may be giving you guidance on, on your child or how to, how to deal with that, how to nurture your child. So what's between you guys? Let's get to the meat and potatoes. The Ace of Pentacles. So that's a great card to have between you guys. Um, it's called the Abundance card. So it's a new seed. It's a new pentacle. It's a new beginning. Um, you close out a cycle and then there's something fresh to start with. Um, so... I could read this a couple different ways. I was getting the impression of the merging of the two. So it's almost like whatever this decision is, or the two things that you're juggling, if they can come together in harmony and form the one, again, there's abundance, there's money to be had there, there's profit, there's some sort of benefit to you, Libra. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, Libra. It was completely frozen, so I couldn't tell if it was still recording. And I didn't want to think I was recording for 20, 20 more minutes. So yes, Ace of Pentacles. Let's throw a clarifier on it. Let's see what this could be. Death. Okay. So transformation. This is the card of Scorpio, right? Which is very appropriate during the Scorpio full moon. So it's something tangible, but it's something that needs to change. And here's the thing, it, whatever this is for you, again, general messages, it needs to go from two, like the two decisions, to transforming either into choosing one decision or merging the two, whatever that is. 
Um, let me know in the comments because I'm, I'm kind of curious too. Whatever these A and B, if we could make them C together. Um, yeah. But again, this, this new pentacle, and again, the emperor has something huge to do with it, whether it's, it could literally be a C, his seed, right? If you guys are having babies, you know, potentially, not for everyone. Um, it's going to change everything. It's going to transform your life. It's going to end whatever old cycle you were in and shed new light on new possibilities of the building of a new world, of the building of a new home, a new career. Um, a, yeah, it's, it's, if it is health related, it's like this new beginning of, I mean, I don't know, it could be a new exercise plan. It could be a new, it could be like a new yoga class that does, you know, insanely awesome things for your mental health and completely changes the way you, you view the world. Like there's something big here. Um, you have quite a few major arcana too, like every section does. So Taurus, Scorpio, Aries, it doesn't have to be, but significant changes and your bottom of the deck card is the world i haven't been reading bottom of the deck but yeah this is significant as i was saying this ace of pentacles whatever it is it could change your world and it's called the angel of success hell yeah libra i love that so what is your guidance for this spread <clears throat> the eight of swords restriction okay so a gemini card Eight of Swords is mental entrapment. It's believing that we can't move because we're surrounded by swords, swords representing our thoughts, our logic. But that's the thing. It's like this imaginary prison we've built ourselves into. We're too scared to make a move. We're too scared to make the decision. So we're constantly juggling back and forth to the point where it's, it's nearing anxiety. It's nearing severe stress. It could potentially be keeping you up at night in the future if it's not dealt with in the in the eight of swords right leading up to the nine of swords so it's false beliefs it's kind of like the the things we tell ourselves because our ego keeps us in fear right there's something about needing to bust out of these these mental blockages of choose of committing right committing to the path to the decision Committing to the blending into one. If you're blending families, right? Maybe a, maybe somebody has a child and somebody doesn't and there's talk of how is this going to work or maybe you both have kids from different marriages. But again, it's going to transform in a beautiful way. You're going to be able to re release the baggage and the, I want to say anxiety, even though this is only the Eight of Swords. It's, it's feeling like that to me. You're trapping yourself and you're missing out on these really great opportunities. Release your anxieties, make a decision, right? Because here's the thing, even if you make a decision and the results are not what you expected or what you thought they, they could be, it's a lesson, right? And all of life, our whole entire journey through the world, right? The fool's journey, the major arcana, it's about learning important lessons along the way, Libra. What can we throw on this restriction card? The star. So here's what I see for this. This has to do with guidance. Again, it could be spiritual guidance because you have the Hierophant, but I think it's guidance from your emperor. I'm not trying to oversell this person. And so much of this doesn't have to be romantic. If, if it is for you and that's ringing true, great. I would just take into consideration what this emperor has to say because he. It, I feel like he's been to hell and back and he knows a thing or two. And it's almost like, this is spiritually destined, spiritually guided that this person, again, romantic or not, has come into your life as like the savior, the star, the shining light in the otherwise dark sky to guide you out of this eight of swords energy, this mental imprisonment that, that you may be stuck in, Libra. Um, even the way he's, I mean, this is a funny interpretation of that he's holding up his hands, right? It's like, peace, we're, we're going to get through this, Libra. Like, it's safe. You can trust me. All right, so let's throw you a Romance Angel card. We'll see if that gives us any more clarity for Libra. Is there one card we can get for Libra on this? How are we doing for time? I think we're okay. I have to merge those two videos, sorry. <clears throat> sorry I had to pause there. All right, so for Libra, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Yeah. I think that's what this is too. If this emperor isn't in your life yet, 
I, I feel like this is the same person. Potentially this, too. I think this person is helping you choose a path, helping you commit to something in your life. And again, it's a seed that has huge potential to grow into abundance. Um, yeah, your soulmate. I mean, that's that's a pretty heavy card, right? That's that's a good one. I like that, Libra. Okay, so last but not least, we're, we're mixing it up. We're doing things differently. I'm gonna pull you a Oracle card. These are the Wild Offering Oracle cards. I'm gonna pull it here and show it to you. We're gonna talk about it on Facebook. Um, so if this was enough clarity and insight for you, Libra, that's fantastic. I'm gonna see you next week for a reading on career, money, um, job, all that good stuff. Um, if you're interested though, stick around. Um, we're gonna pull this Oracle card and then like I said, hop onto Facebook with me and we will talk about it. <clears throat> trying to drive traffic to the social media channels because um, yeah, this channel including YouTube is brand new. So gotta, gotta get it out there, right? Gotta get the traffic on, on Instagram and Facebook as well. I am the intuitive teacup on Instagram and Facebook. So check that out if you're interested. They are both free, um, but you do have to sign up for it with like an email. So for those who don't know, if you're interested, fantastic. And if not, that is totally cool. Peace, as the Hierophant would say. It's all good, man. Peace. He just looks like a hippie dude to me. I love it. So for Libra, there we go. Aw, you got a cute one. So this card says, feelings. All right, I will see you over on Facebook, The Intuitive Teacup, and we will talk all about feelings. Happy May um, to all you Libras out there. Uh, please do like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.